What I'm gonna share with you right now not only changed the amount of money in my bank account and how I was making that money. What I'm gonna share with you changed my entire financial future. If you are in a position where you want accelerated wealth, if you want more freedom in your life, more liberty to do the things that light your soul fire up as well as fill your bank account up, this video is gonna show you a way to use the power of your mind in a whole new way to manifest the future of your dream desires. Manifestation, quantum physics, cause and effect. That comes from our words, it comes from our actions, it comes from our energy. What if every single thought that we have going forward comes from a place of abundance? When you shifted in your trust, when your, blo your body reflected that in ease and, and mobility and, and freedom and movement, it's like the perfect storm for a breakthrough in your money, which has happened consistently mm -hmm. and growing, yeah. and increasing. Yeah. For those who are even completely um, skeptical about manifestation from an energetic or quantum science point of view, everything does come from our action. You can manifest like a shitload of hard work if you're can, like latched on to a condition or a program or a limit or when you have any sort of construct around how something is, you go unconsciously into that action. We see those patterns, same patterns, same problems, same, you know, oh, I have a narcissistic relationship. I'm gonna finally leave this narcissistic relationship and straight into another one and just repeat that pattern over and over and over and over again. I'm gonna have an income roller coaster. Whee! up down up down up over and over and over and over again i'm gonna have all this this you know bad shit happen in my life like you know horrible loss and grief over and over and over and over again that's the victim consciousness and then at some point there's an awakening and they say oh my goodness me i have my power but unconsciously you go to the construct and then i do this this way it's what i know you know which is how it programmed work hard to make money, be a good girl to get rewards, be quiet and be a good girl, right? Constructs, 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 everywhere. And they're unconsciously programmed into our blueprint, which may ultimately lead to wealth by force. We'll hustle that goddamn money and we'll make it and we'll be left a bit of shell of ourselves and we'll be putting a limit over our own happiness and fulfillment and our purpose here on this planet. And we won't be impacting as far as is possible from the highest frequency, which is where we then go into this place of pure trust, complete openness, empowered belief systems that are limitless as well. You'll be able to move. An unconditional love, it really is about connecting in with your truth and then knowing in the moment how to respond, what to do, what you need, how to keep your, your cup overflowing. And I know that the old me would have got shit done however I felt because there would have been a list there, probably multiple lists on multiple walls you know, and it has to be, it has to be this way instead of actually sitting in how I feel, whether it be tired, whether it be, um, uninspired, unmotivated, unloved, you know, mm. sick, whatever it was, it, it never, it never, it never went in first. And so you hustle your way to your goal. Whereas in the moment, in true co-creation, you are being gifted an opportunity to have it the easiest way. Like I went to bed last night focusing on stages, you know, because the the way I've been taught is go and find the dream list, you know, write down the dream list. And to me, like, that sounds like a fucking load of hard work. I don't want to research anything. I don't want to spend more time on my phone. I can't, I just, I just, I can't. <laughs> I think so I went to bed just dreaming of the stage, right? Dreaming of the audience. Even what they're wearing, there was drums. There's always drums nowadays. 
there was spirituality, there was science, there was this beautiful like edge. Woke up on my phone, there's a message from one of my clients and he goes, oh, hey, Claire, I just signed up to this stage. You have to be on it. I was like, you know, it's like it happens for you when you set the intention in the right energy, which means there can't be any background noise of all this bullshit of oh, it's impossible. I'm not good enough to be over there. Oh, I've got to do this. How do we change these beliefs? How do we create the awakened blueprint, the awakened wealth blueprint? where everything is in abundance, everything comes with ease. There's positive ripple effects out of everything, just wake it up. You know, mir miracles are everywhere. Just take the conditions away and usually the action is very different to the one that you went to instinctively. And it takes time to get away from that ego mind, the shunts and the fears and into your body that knows because you will get into that place of power where things don't change by your force. They happen for you. They happen in ways that you could never have constructed. You could never have imagined. It's like, wow, that was cool. <laughs> you know? But it really does all come back to feeling. So as long as you know how you want to feel, which is where the scientific piece is as well in terms of how feelings manifest, actually how they manifest through quantum physics, that you will always end up in the experience where you get to gracefully experience that feeling and you get to experience it in a way that you could never have come up with like it's these beautiful and that's life right like how epic is that the book that i just finished um jody pickle i really enjoyed it or if you have a plan for your life then you have a plan not a life because life's lived in every moment we imagine things and that heightens the feeling of the vision, doesn't it? Heightens the feeling of the intention. And what we can see, what we can feel, we create. There's a really cool exercise that I do quite regularly where it's like I have the seed of an idea and then I get on Pinterest. And I see how I can expand it. You know, it's like, I want to travel to Bali. Okay, I'll plug Bali. Swings. <laughs> and then you see all of these other... Um, and you just get to... You know, if you can't see it already, get seeded in there so you can play with it. Because the 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 power is in the unknown, isn't it? Right? The the seat of your creativity is in the unknown. We're always going to what we know. I have bills. I have to fix them. I have to sort the paperwork. I have to do all the hard work. What if you don't? If you're in soul goal land when somebody's doing it for you, or a, mar a miracle happens, or you be there, right? You be yeah. there feeling you be there in the outcome of the outcome of the outcome and something will shift or move to make that happen in the next seven days getting to your truth and just make sure you're not sitting in any conditions you're not sitting out of alignment you're not focusing you know you're holding onto a rope somewhere and you don't even realize it, it has to be this way it's like we want to get to the outcome of the outcome of the outcome if an excuse comes in, have a conversation with it. Okay, what do you, what do you, what? go into visualization, bring in the uncomfortable feeling, allow it to create awareness for you. We want to be in the open energy that anything could happen. Like we were in the boot camp competition, we're in the last week. My team's losing. The rest of the team's like, I'm not coming in Wednesday, I'm not coming in Friday. We're not with, there's no way we can win. I'm like, anything's fucking possible bring it on the other team could die you know like we just don't know right we don't know we do n not that i want the other team to die but there is an infinite amount of doors the whole yeah. team could come down with covid in team one and not come in on friday there's team two swinging by picking up those final points it's we have no idea and this is the thing we've got to train ourselves to be in the outcome to be in the delusion we don't know what consciousness is we don't as much science as we can have right now nobody can define con consciousness nobody's defined it and it's not the brain they're seeing that it's not the brain it's not actually it's beyond the brain because people go into near-death experiences where their brains shut off and consciousness keeps going because we're manifesting in every single moment. 
every single moment, good, bad, in the middle, everything, everything you have, you've created. We are conditioned to understand a figure of money, right? So we're trying to manifest a figure. We're saying, give me $300,000 by the end of this month. The universe doesn't get that. The universe gets feeling. So when you're in the feeling of, this is what the money brings me. This is the freedom it warrants. This is the this is the freedom it gets. This is the abundance it shares on my family. This is the opportunities it creates. This is the impact I get to make. The feeling, the feeling, the feeling, the feeling, the feeling, the feeling, the feeling. Then you see the money coming in in all sorts of interesting and wonderful and miraculous ways, right? And you go, well, maybe it's not even the same amount, but I've got what I want it fit in feeling. And I'm you all you, you start to realize that you're always secure. You're always safe. Everything's a miracle, right? Everything is a miracle. Everything is uh, a cog, like uh, a step in the in the the way towards what you want. The minute you slam a condition on it, you sabotage what's possible, because you want creative. You have creative power in every single moment. You are superhuman. You can do whatever the hell you want as long as you believe you can. So it's like you're seeing this money dwindling away. The end. The universe is going to go. I'll just match that back with scarcity. You see that money as, you know, a gift and being invested into all these beautiful things that you have and showing gratitude for them and having no condition around this money. It's going to run out. I need to make more. It's infinite. It's all infinite. Energetic soup, right? It comes back to feeling and we can use visualization to create the feelings. Your perceptual ability of this reptilian brain, once it stops being busy in survival mode, opens the door to such beautiful perceptual gifts all of your senses are involved with that this stuff works you change you know this stuff gets taken away from from us growing up as we get funneled into all of these systems i am in my creative power and everything is possible that's how we start to shatter the paradigm but it's a self-created paradigm it's a self-created matrix everything that we see we have created and you know it's not comfortable getting spat out either i went through that experience i write about it in the book it's like i started to get spat out of my self-created matrix and i was like on the outside of it going well hang on a minute now it's really feeling a little strange you know if they if if there are all these constructs aren't true where does that leave me and at first from the helplessness from the old powerlessness it's like well, you know, if none of this exists, if nothing, none of this is there, if that's not true, but then you realize that whatever you want to be true can be true. And that's how we're creating the new world. That's the new earth frequency is create from the light, right? Shine your light, find your self-expression, create change through your energy and your frequency and your unconditional love. Come away from these power extremes that we've experienced through history, from helplessness through to overbearing power and control, to know in the middle you can just be and things will be different. What do you need to see to feel a true core intention that isn't limited? It's really, it's really, really, really powerful because you're taking your mind into a playground. You're seeding the vision in the moment and you're getting silly about it you know i don't it doesn't have to be the way that it has been constructed to me that it has to be i'm going to shatter all my paradigms and see what that feels like yeah the the sole goal would be that i don't have to do details of any description oh, no. No. Because, we're, because we're attention right because there are people that love that shit, right but i don't want them absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. The thing is it's making sense how we can absolutely make like that's like so much more of an intention because it's just like going above it all and be like well why am i trying to make myself do that i don't want to do it my soul is like feels like screaming when i have to do that stuff